intro music remix. Bum, 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 bum. Jason 019, Jason 019. Bum, 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 bum. Minecraft season four. Bum, 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 bum. Jason 019, Jason 019. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, everybody, just wanted to show you something crazy going on in Anders Portal when I came by. Why do I have a feeling it's linked to my portal in some way? Uh, maybe not. No, definitely not. I'm... I'm kind of shocked. What is going on here? Oh, no, now it's back on. Well, hello everybody, welcome back. It is Jeff again, and guess what? Death Games time. Let's get this guy. No, wait a minute. If I, if I put on the gear and then jump off a cliff, do I owe myself a diamond? Um, I am not going to hit the button. It was kind of fun to know that my name is the one that's up in the Death Games. And we will see if anybody else notices such things. I did not do a good job last time of quote-unquote trapping my portal. I did not want to trap it in order to kill somebody. My intent was to trap it in order to stop people from getting in because I was unaware that you could actually break anything while sitting in a portal. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Portal glitch. Portal glitch. Run, I think. I don't know what that was. Was that a portal glitch? Is somebody after me? I'll just swing. Did they go through to my house? Some cats did. What's going on? What's going on? Um, crap, extremely quickly. I'm actually going to trap my portal properly this time. Hurry! There's people afoot! Uh, trying! I'm trying! I'm assuming somebody was attacking me, right? Uh, trying fast! Please work! Oh no, that's not going to work. Um, I guess I can go... Oh no, that's the outside. Crap. I can't even do that like I wanted to. If I put that there... Nope, 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 nope. That's going to be too... Oh no, that's actually going to work perfectly right there. Crap. Oh my god. I'm assuming somebody was after me just then. I, I don't, I can't explain why else I was taking damage unless I, I screwed something up. That actually will make it just go straight down. So I need it like that. And I think this will be hilarious if I can actually end up... No! Not the horse! Did that horse just die? That horse did just die. Oh, God, that's... I did not think about that. Um... Ugh... Okay, so I screwed that one up, but let's make sure my, the rest of my horses don't die. The cats, I could care less if they died. <laughs> Crap, I just lost one of my horses. I hope it wasn't the donkey. So I was going to talk to you guys about that as well. I uh, Last time you guys saw me, I was in the... There. <laughs> last time you guys saw me, I was in the... Okay, good, I still got a donkey. I was in the nether. Or, excuse me, in the nether. In the other side of the... The area with two donkeys and a horse that I was coming back with. I decided that I was going to come back and get, go back and get another donkey. And then I escaped through that person's house that was right there that I was by. Unfortunately, what seems to have happened, how was I taking damage? Now I don't get this. I'm eating beef. I'm going to have to wash the footage back on that. I really don't understand why I started taking damage there. Um, 
but I went back, I got a, another horse, so I had two horses and two donkeys that I successfully got all the way over into my nether portal, and one of them jumped in that minecart that was sitting next to my nether portal. Oh, that was weird. One of them jumped in the minecart that was sitting next to my nether portal and rode through the tunnel to Sweden, and it's not big enough for a horse, and he suffocated. And so I was down a horse, and now I'm down another horse because I just let one go in the lava, which was stupid. Um, I'm scoping out a good plot of land, actually. I want to build some horse stables out here is what I'm doing now. And I'm thinking, do I want to flatten this area out, or should I build it up on top of this hill? I think up on top of this hill would be good. Like right here in this area. Why is this cat following me? I should go make a shovel and clear some of this out so I can get the the foundation laid for the horse stables. Or I could build it just like right here. No, nah, I think I'm going to go on top of the hill. Um, so yeah, that's what happened with the horses. And unfortunately, I know it's been a while since I've put an episode in. And... Uh, the reason for that being my temporary area is still not the perfect setup for recording right now because unfortunately the wireless connection, um, I know it takes a long time to upload an episode, I, I already knew that going in uh, until I get set up, which will be this weekend or early next week is when I should actually be able to get fully set up um, and functioning properly. The issue was I had an 11 minute video that I wanted to put up and I figured 11 minutes no big deal I can do 11 minute video through this I don't even want to necessarily upload it through the wireless I will copy it to my laptop and go upload it with my laptop clicked in clicked in um, directly connected to the router it took eight and a half hours still because I do not know what the deal is with this internet connection speed. They claim that it's a super fast one and it's funny, the, the download seems fine. It's the upload that is just dragging. So I actually have somebody coming out Tuesday and I'm, uh, I ordered the higher tiered internet. So I should have 50 by 25 coming up next week and I should be able to keep my computer hard lined in if I get when I get all moved in and set up as well uh, into the room and get all my stuff organized so hopefully that will end that problem oh, I just unfortunately have not had a chance at this point to be able to to get all that stuff done yet because the the guy who's in the room still is down or is uh, the downstairs room where I'm going to be moving that stuff into moves out this weekend so Hopefully, I'll be much more set up at the end of the week. So, I know it's been a while since I've had an episode up there. Ooh, Blaine TC joined the game. God, I really hope somebody goes in through my... Uh, I, I hope I see a message that somebody died, and I'm going to laugh my ass off when that happens. Oh, what I was saying, though, is I didn't trap it last time with the intentions of killing people. I wanted to block them so I knew where they were at, and I could go attack them. Because I thought they'd get stuck in the portal and not be able to get out, because I didn't know that you could... Oh, come on. Ah, uh, having that stupid block lag issue. Except over here. Oh, no. It's back. Okay, I'll be back, guys. Okay, I'm back. And we are no longer block laggy. Um, but it turns out you can break things right through the portal, which I was unaware of. So that's how Etho was able to escape. And inevitably, I was not a match for them with their strength potions and things like that. Um, so, unfortunately, they bested me in that fight, and this time, however, knowing my name is up is kind of fun, because you can have a lot more fun with things than clearing your name, and I don't know if anybody knows I know my name is up either, which is why, if I actually just trapped my portal like that, I'm really curious, because I want to know what somebody's thought process is going to be, if they're like, okay, let's go through the portal, let's get him, and then they're just like, what? I just burned to death, you know, I think it's going to be hilarious, but... Don't know if it'll actually happen or not. I'm not going to clear out the rest of this without a shovel. Oh, there's a creeper down there, though. There's a couple creepers down there. It's a cave I haven't explored. Maybe I should go explore that and see what's in there. Anything? Anything? There's iron. This is just a small dead end. It is a small dead end. Let's just light it up. And how about you just sit there? Because I don't care about you, cat. Um, so, yeah. 
So while I build this, this was an interesting story at uh, at work the other day. I went to go to the cafeteria. I just was going to go grab a bagel um, in the morning. So I went to the cafeteria and I grabbed, uh, pulled out a bagel. And we have luckily, like sometimes we have fancy bagels. And by fancy, I mean it was like the everything bagel. So I picked up the everything bagel. Put it in a bagel slicer. What we have is a toaster set up and a bagel slicer and things like that. So I put the everything bagel in the the bagel slicer and sliced it. And I'm sitting there, getting it ready to put in the uh, in the toaster. And this lady comes up to me, just extremely pissed off. And she goes, Ugh, I just cleaned that. And I like looked at her and I looked at the table and I had made a mess on the table because, you know, it's an everything bagel. It spills, but I, I did it on the, oh, there goes that axe. I did it on the, how do you, how do you place sideways logs? Oh, it has to be in like that. So do I have to give this thing a barrier? Hmm. I think I need to get another axe. Oh, damn it, big tree. I think I need to get another axe. Because I want some sideways logs on the bottom of this thing. But, um... So I kind of laughed for a second. Because I thought she was kidding. And, uh... Because she was worked there. She was, like, one of the cafeteria workers. And she was just cleaning off the table. Because it was a disgusting mess from everybody using the bagel toaster. And I started laughing. And I was like, sorry. You know, <laughs> that's what happens. Um... Like I said, thinking she was kidding. And... She looks at me and she goes, just never mind then. And like storms away. And I was like, um, I, I don't know at like 930 in the morning, if you clean off the bagel toaster area, if that just means nobody's allowed to have bagels anymore that are sold all day. I'm really not sure what she was going for right there. Um, yeah, I mean, and I used to work in customer service and that's the one thing that I don't like about. I hate about airports and like hospital cafeterias and things like that because in a normal customer service job, you are trying to be better than your competition. You want your competition to, or you, your customers not to want to go to your competition, but you want them to go to where you are at, where your establishment. That's what you want when you are a, I don't want that. I think I just, if I put one more here, there we go. I guess I didn't even need to make that whole line, did I? What an, what an idiot am I? Um, that's fine. That's fine. And I want one standing up in the corner, which I guess we'll let this go back. I'm going to run out of these, though. And then, like this, I'm going to need more, more logs for sure, but at least this will give me a my basis to start on then I can come over here and get these um, but you want people to go to your competition or not go to your competition you want them to go to you so you have to be good at customer service in order to make that happen when you're dealing with a place like a hospital cafeteria or anything that exists in an airport you I, I guess sort of in the airport you're dealing with your competition at least a little bit because there's multiple choices within the airport oh, what the hell because there's multiple choices within the airport. However, it's still not quite the same because you're very limited in what you can do. You're stuck in the area. You're stuck in the airport, which is why they can make prices so high, which always pisses me off at the airport. I wish I think there should be laws against being able to jack up the price when you're not allowed to like leave. I can't say you're not allowed to leave, but you don't physically ever have the time to leave if you're waiting for a flight. You can't just leave the airport, go somewhere, grab something, and come back. Because then you have to go through security again, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, it's like just a pain like that. So I get very frustrated. A hospital, I mean, that's even worse. Not only are you, you don't have a choice. You're in the hospital cafeteria. That's all you got is the hospital cafeteria. Most of the customers that you're dealing with, I mean, you got employees, but you've also got families. Why are families at the hospital? Because somebody's sick at the hospital. They're not usually there because they're just having a good old time and they decided they wanted to go to the hospital cafeteria for lunch because it's so delicious that they drove out of their way to go there. It's you're stuck and you're usually there because things are not going well. 
So you would think that you should be required to have like the best customer service that ever exists, but no, apparently it just works the opposite way. People can just get mad and do what they want and never get like reprimanded because their numbers are probably still looking just fine. Look how many customers we served. I mean, that was a big part of our statistics at McDonald's was how many customers did we serve? Are we fast enough? Can we do better? What's going to make people want to come back? You take out all those factors when you're in a, an area like that, and it's really, really annoying. Um, and the other annoying thing is, um, just in the hospital in general, your employees, like, we don't get the ability to leave for lunch. I guess we, in theory, could, but you can't park if you leave and come back. Like, the parking lot is such limited space. Once it's full, it's full. You don't have that choice anymore to just decide you want to go away and come back later so you pretty much can't leave and go to lunch uh, i mean i guess there's certain circumstances where you can if i got lucky i used to go home for lunch sometimes if i i would scope out the parking lot first and see if it looked like i could come back and park um as an employee but as an employee you were, you know, you're pretty confined to working there as well. Most of the people at the hospital are nurses. Most people that work in hospitals are nurses. I don't think that's a shock to anybody. It's just the the highest profession of, you know, by sheer number. The nurses get a half an hour break. That's all we get is a half an hour break for lunch. The cafeteria is one of the slowest things in existence in my opinion the the food is relatively good we do have some decent chefs and things like that in there it's relatively good i will say it's nothing spectacular but it's you know better than it could be that's for sure but the thing is if you go to the grill or if you get anything that's not just pre-packaged grab it and run if you get anything that's actually good you are sitting there waiting for about 20 minutes or so leaving you 10 minutes left to eat and nobody seems to think that this is a problem and I've brought this up before at the you know to the people that work that work in the cafeteria and run the cafeteria that look you know I understand that you want to make good quality food but most of your you know, many of your customers are are the nurses that work here you can't be taking taking so long to get them food when they have such a limited break a lot of people bring their own food you snuck out over here. Good thing I covered this side of this thing, too. Nobody's tried to go through yet, though. I really want to know what was... Man, those particles come through from those sheep. That's kind of funny. Um, oh, on a, on a side note, this cracks me up right here. Most people actually... I don't know why, but they never said anything about it before. And I'm shocked that they didn't. And that's kind of one of the reasons I kept it going. Because I was curious. And now a lot more people are commenting on it. They're like, why don't you get a door? That would be so much easier. I have been doing this without saying anything about getting a door. Because it was kind of like a social experiment. To see how long it would take people to start getting very, very upset about the fact that... <laughs> I use blocks in a, in a situation where a door would be fine. I would have to use a metal door uh, because of the zombies and everything, but that's fine. I can do that. Man, I really want to go back in and back through here because nobody's coming after me, and it's sad. How funny would it be if Blame TC came rolling through and had his first death into my trapped portal? I don't even think he plays the death games, though, because he's got his first... Or he doesn't have his first death yet, but I could be wrong. He could be in there. Um... Yeah. Either way, I think I've been rambling for... No, 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 no! Why, why, donkey? Why, why, why? 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 Man, my plan completely just backfired on me. I just lost donkeys and saddles. I gotta go get more at some point now, which is really, really, really annoying. Um, ah... Uh... I should have thought that one through. But oh well, I know where they're at. I'm not that concerned. It was a fun episode to go try to grab them, so it will be a fun episode yet again. Um, I will unblock my portal for now, though, because I am going to call it a day for this episode. Yeah, stay, stay the hell away from there, okay? Okay? Yes. 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 Good horsey. Okay, my lone surviving horse... Hopefully, we'll continue to be a lone surviving horse, but call this episode good here, guys, and uh, one day, maybe I'll put a door on here. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll finish those horse tables. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll finish that hospital. Maybe I won't. I don't know. All right, guys. I will see you next time. Intro music remix. Bump, 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 bump.
Jason 019, Jason 019, bum, 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 Minecraft, season four, bum, 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 Jason 019, Jason 019.